Liam Fraser. I told him quite past two. Yeah, yeah. Told you. Leave that, you leave it. Hi, Hi, Just an update on the squad, really, after Saturday's game? Um, you know, we've, we've probably um, we'll be lacking. Jeff Cameron obviously came off in the game and um, he's gone for a scan. Um, looks like he's a grade one, so we're, we're hopeful that he might have a chance for the weekend. Obviously not not available tomorrow. Um, other than that, um, Mark Muniesa uh, still got a slight problem, but uh, we're likely to give him another 24 hours, see if he can be an option for us tomorrow. Um, Bojan has an uh, issue with his toe, um, a really bad blister on it, so uh, <coughs> uh, it's it's hampering him. So we'll, we'll have to see if that settles down to, to enable him to play. Um, apart from that, I think that's everybody. And another 48 hours on, how do you look back on that game? Uh, the game of the weekend, well, it, it just exactly the same as my thoughts on, on the day, really. Uh, Watford played well, had a game plan, made it difficult for us. Uh, competed really well. Um, we weren't as creative in the final third as we needed to be. We weren't really sharp enough in terms of moving the ball quickly to, to really string uh, Watford out. Uh, they were able to condense the play where the ball was uh, too readily and as a consequence we, we didn't really have a, uh, a cutting edge to really uh, cause them too many problems. So, um, yeah, disappointing. Uh, plenty of possession but with no no uh, end product, unfortunately. Um, but the thing, given the disappointment of, of not getting maximum points, because if we had done, it would have matched our best start after 10 games. It would probably would have been, or would have been, seventh in the Premier League. As it is, we're still in the bomb half of it. But um, uh, I know this group of players. So when when we have a performance that we're not comfortable with, and um, we're disappointed, you know, obviously, with the result, then. Almost always we, we bounce back quickly, so uh, um, I'm encouraged by that because that's happened in the past. What sort of changes are you thinking about tomorrow? There won't be wholesale. Well, not obviously, uh, given the uh, call to the opposition, it's, it's not as if uh, we're going up against lower league opposition. We're, we're up against the current champions of England, so uh, we have to be mindful of that. So uh, we'll be strong, but I always try and pick strong teams and in the cup competitions, I always have done that, so uh, that won't change. But uh, obviously, given the fact we're, we're playing Chelsea, then uh, uh, we'll, we'll be as, as strong as we can be. Is Ryan Shawcross coming to your thinking? Yeah, Ryan's a, an option for us, yeah, absolutely. Uh, he needs games now, so uh, he's very much in my thoughts for, for the game tomorrow. Um, we need to get him up to speed. He's had a couple of under 21 games which have helped him. Uh, he's had 90 minutes, so he's. Uh, He's obviously <coughs> jumping out the bed. He wants to be involved, so uh, he's very much in my thoughts. How important a player is he, and how much have you missed him? Well, I, I think, in, in fairness, uh, I think the guys probably up till the weekend we we've, we've we've done fine. Um, uh, we lost Jeff Cameron early in the game, and I think that affected us somewhat, and uh, uh, the balance wasn't quite right for us. But uh, yeah, welcoming back Ryan will be a big. Big bonus for us. He's, he's captain of the club, um, and he has an influence on and off the field. Uh, his influence on the field, obviously, this season uh, hasn't been an issue, uh, or we haven't had the, the benefit of his influence on the field. But uh, that will change in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, fully expect him to to be fit and well. Uh, he needs to play games, as I said, and uh, tomorrow's an opportunity. Hopefully, have you been surprised by Chelsea's season so far? Um, well, the, the, it's true to say. I think, like obviously, we're, at the moment we're we're above Chelsea. <coughs> Hopefully, uh, come the end of the season, we're above them as well. And I think that would be uh, a decent season from our point of view. I don't anticipate that they're going to be in the position they're uh, for for too much longer. They they seem to just be struggling to get points on the board when maybe in the past you'd expect them to. But uh, all teams, whatever level and um, whatever quality you've got, sometimes. 
teams go through these periods, uh, but they've got quality right throughout the club that will enable them to uh, to come through these moments, I'm sure. I mean, you referenced it yourself there, Premier League champions in the summer. How can a club change? Well, I think uh, you have to respect the, the strength of the Premier League. Um, every game is difficult. It's an old cliche, but uh, it doesn't change. Uh, Premier League games, doesn't matter if you're playing top, middle or bottom, they, they can give you a really difficult game. And, and if you're the champions of, of the Premier League, then you're always going to be uh, a fair game and, and teams will go that extra mile against you. So they've faced that for many, many years. They understand that. Um, this year, maybe they haven't dealt with that as well as they've been able to in the past. But that may be because maybe the mid-group of teams, uh, given the investment that most teams uh, have put in, um, the probably the middle group is the group of teams that have got stronger. So that closes gaps sometimes. So uh, maybe that's that's what's happened in some of the games. Is it a club you still have affection for? Yeah, yeah, I had a great time there. I, I left Manchester United and, and people assumed that that would be the end of my career in terms of winning trophies and whatever, but I was able to go there, went there a fantastic time just as the club was was changing and, and going on an upward trend and um, had three good years, I won three trophies and had a great time. As a fellow manager, have you seen a change in Jose Mourinho? No, I don't think so. I, I think Jose is, uh, is one of the characters of not only the Premier League but world football and, uh, and people want to hear what he says and, and rightly so because of the success he's had. Um, it's a period that he's probably faced at other times in his career um, but it's it's one that he's got the knowledge and the, the understanding of how to address that and uh, he'll turn it around. I don't think anybody thinks that he won't. Have you played at a good time? Maybe, maybe but they, they had a disappointing result at the weekend like we did so uh, maybe if the, they'd had a straightforward win then maybe it, that would have been a better situation but the fact that they're a little bit wounded themselves then and maybe that makes it uh, as difficult as we thought it would be initially so uh, we won't take anything for granted thinking that it's going to be a good time to play them because playing Chelsea at any time is always a test. Thank you. Mark, um, is uh, Mam likely to be involved? Yeah, Mam's okay. Yeah, he's trained well today so um, he's, he's back in the form. Um, and with, with Cameron, do you so it's a great one, Tess, has a, a hamstring? No, no, it's in his, in his thigh, uh, his rec fem. So um, you have to be a little bit careful with those because they, they can uh, they can be a troublesome injury if uh, if you keep on aggravating it. The fact he came off so soon and didn't try and obviously still continue in the game was the right thing because uh, um, it was clear that he was hampered by the injury, so he came off early, which was the good thing, and I think that's why it's only a great one. Um, and, and just back on Chelsea uh, and, and, and Mourinho, I mean, you said you, said, you think you're confident Chelsea will turn it around this season, and Mourinho is going to be the man to do that. As far as you're concerned, you don't expect him to. You expect him to not lose his job to come through this period. And no, no, he's, <laughs> he, he says it himself. He's a, he's a top manager and. He's the best manager that Chelsea have ever had, and so why would they change? Um, and I mean, obviously, you said as well, people like hearing what he's got to say. That's been very much the focus recently. Um, do, do you think he crosses the line sometimes? Managers like speaking about referees sometimes, don't they? But no, no, I think sometimes, um, and we're all guilty of it, that maybe if you've had a bad result, you, you'll try and change the focus on, on something that's happened in and around the game rather than the result it's itself and I think we're all, we're all guilty of that on some occasions so uh, I think that's what he does, he tries to take the pressure off his players by maybe highlighting a referee an issue or, or some incident in the game that sometimes it takes takes the focus away from the actual result so uh, um, it's been done by him on occasions and as it has done by, by us all. Hold up, thank you.